Hi folks, I'm at the Woodbury Research Facility in Georgia. No, it has nothing to do with The Walking Dead, but that's probably the first thing you'll find if you try to Google that term. It is in fact a little known but very real research facility featuring two large radio telescopes that were owned by Georgia Tech, and they performed some SETI searches. Before that, it served as a satellite communications hub for AT&T, but around the late 70s, early 1980s, we started developing better technology for communicating with our satellites, and we no longer needed these giant behemoths. So they became obsolete, but Georgia Tech saw use for them as radio telescopes. Now the reason I'm here and I'm talking about this is because in recent weeks I've been asked a lot about lunar waves, uh, as filmed by Crow Triplehorn on YouTube. Now, Crow, uh, claims that this is evidence of a lunar hologram, that the moon is fake or an illusion, or that uh, it's covered by a hologram, and he even suggests that they're wrong or lying about the distance from the Earth to the moon. So we can actually test that claim directly by bouncing radio waves off the moon. In fact, using equipment much smaller than what you see behind me. It's in fact something that amateurs can do and have done for many years. So we'll talk more about that in the future. But uh, in the meantime, I offered to work with Crow in filming the moon from my location in Florida, and simultaneously uh, he can film the moon at his location. And if his claim is true, we should see his lunar wave occurring at both locations simultaneously. If, however, it's a hoax, which, again, I apologize for accusing him of hoaxing it, he could very well be recording real atmospheric refraction through things like plane wakes. Uh, so, apologies, Crow, sorry about that. You're right, it could actually be something real, it could actually be real atmospheric disturbance. If you go to Daz of the Cameraman's channel, you can actually see an excellent video of this that he just posted, uh, I believe it was yesterday, he just posted this, uh, of a plane crossing in front of the moon and producing a spectacular pair of lunar waves. Uh, those were actually disturbances coming off of the wingtips of the plane, and it causes a very severe and very sharp line of atmospheric refraction, and that line can even bend and form curves and everything else, and you can see this all brilliantly displayed on Daz's channel, so go check that out. But if that's all it is, then we won't see it from multiple locations simultaneously. It would in fact be, of course, just a localized atmospheric phenomenon. But if Crow is, is right in his claim, uh, then we should be able to film the moon simultaneously from multiple locations and see it occurring at both locations simultaneously. But he seems completely unwilling to work with me on that. Uh, that's why I did the webcast, my last webcast alone, because he refuses to work with me, but my offer stands. Anytime he wants to come along and uh, work with me on that, I'm more than happy to do so.